Hello and today I will be taking a look at the real grade Wing Gundam TV version. So let's just have a look and see what comes with it in the box. Okay so inside this kit you get a few extras but not a lot. Mainly weapon, shield and then two beam saber here and then you get your usual different uh, fixed pose hands and you get a special base adapter with this one. Okay so now let's take a look and see what the model can do. So we'll start off with the head. So moves all the way forward, all the way back, uh, up and down and then if you position the head just right you can get it to rotate all the way around. And onto the actual torso for this one. So it will position out and back in. Then the shoulders lift up, down, and it rotates with the arm all the way around. You can then pull out the shoulders slightly here, and these can just fall down. And I can show you that a little bit more when we actually go into the transformation. Then onto the arm itself here, it rotates at the very top of the arm and then you have the elbow bend, but to get the elbow to bend all the way you do have to just flip the claws up and there you have it. Then back down and then flip those back. Then the hand itself will just spin around on its ball joint. You then have a small gimmick here, which you just pop this out and then when the hand is removed, you can then just fold the claw out here and that will be for the transformation, so I'll go over that a little bit more after. So, so for the actual waist, it won't turn all the way around too easily, just like this, but you can pop it up slightly and then that will allow you to spin it all the way around and this is once again for the transformation and then just push it back down. So onto the skirting, front skirting just lifts up just like so, not all the way, Put about there anymore and it will just pop out like that. Then onto the side, sides move out quite nicely and then the back is on a small hinge here and just comes out to about that far which is pretty decent. So now onto the legs, move the arms just out of the way and just lift up the side skirting just a bit just so you can see the legs a little bit more. So with this you do have a drop down section on the legs. So just like that, just to give you that little bit more sort of leg movement. So we'll just show you the kicks with, with that. So that's pretty good. And then all the way to the back, like that, so not bad either. And so then we'll just push the legs back up. And then start off at the top of the leg, so you have Pretty decent rotation on the uh, on the leg. It won't go all the way around just because of the top bit of armor sticking up here. But that's not bad because it's not a very natural position for it, so it doesn't really look too out of place. Then onto the actual knee section. So you have your knee bend like that. It does get a bit obstructed with the thruster up here but it's not too bad. You can pretty much get away with that. Then onto the ankles. So the ankles, really quite good on this one. So you've got movement at the top, the ankle, left, right, forward and back. And then on the foot itself, you have a little bit of movement to the side, other side. And then you have the toe down on this one, which will be helping out with the with the transformation and then it does push up a little bit as well 
There is a bit more with the legs, but I will go over that with the transformation shortly. Okay, so now let's take a look at the accessories that this kit comes with. So we'll start off with the Buster Rifle. And so here you have it. It's really nicely designed for this kit. It's nicely color separated and it looks pretty nice. And you do have the option of a sticker or you can leave it with the sort of clear green part in there. And then as a bit of a gimmick, you can pull out the rifle a bit here and that will get you access to the cartridges and they just slot in and then you can then just push it all back in. Now onto the shield. Shield is quite a nice design for this one. Really quite like some of the actual extras they've done. That's the look of it there. And then with the articulation and the connect connecting to the mobile suit you have this peg here. It's a really strong connection, it won't tend to go anywhere. It takes a bit of effort to actually try and actually remove it as well, so that just shows how strong the hold is. And that just has a fold around here, and then rotation all the way around. And then for the gimmick for the, for the shield, you can just pop it out, and then that just slides up the beam saber, nicely hidden away. Just move that in slowly, and you can see it retracts the beam saber and then just clips in. Now we'll take a look at the main part on this one is the wings. So first starting off with the connection on this one it's on a small little joint here which just collects in and this allows you to maneuver the move this up for different posing especially during transformation but then when you're attaching it on keep it down and that clips into place inside of there. Now with the actual wings themselves you have rotation right up there, then you have rotation of the actual arm itself and it just clips back into place for this one and then you have an extra bit of movement here as well just to bring it out back down and then onto the wings themselves. So first bit lifted out like this. Then you have a couple sections inside here. So you just unclip it from here. And there's some little pegs that it just holds into and that just folds out. Then you have the same again. You have some more pegs you can just remove it from and you can then lower the next part of the wing. And then here in this set here you can just lift that up and pull that down and then lastly on the red parts of the wing you can separate these out like that and you can get quite a nice spread from these wings from the other side okay so now let's just take a look at the model when it's all back together so starting off we'll put on the backpack and so, as I said, you have these two pegs here, which just slot in and clip into place, nice and securely. And then if you want to attach the shield, you have this peg here, and that just fits in to the back of the arm. So that just should be able to see it from here, and that clicks in. And then you can just position it around as we showed with the articulation before and then for the rifle as I've already got the hand equipped on already just have to pop the hand out which is already in there and then just put that in okay so now let's take a look at the transformation to make it easier to show you, I've just disassembled the uh, model slightly, so let's just get onto it. So starting off with the legs, so with the legs, you can then just pop the legs back here, and that just frees it slightly. 
and then lift it out and then pop this tab out like that and then you can then just just move this out of the way rotate the leg up and that tab just comes back down and then just got to click the leg back in there just get it to focus there so the leg will look like that so when you look at it compared to the other side just be careful with some of the side skirts they do tend to pop out a little bit they're not the best fitting I've found but for the front skirting I tend to just pop that just inside and that just holds it quite well so let's just do the next leg and just position the legs a little bit just to get them looking a little bit get them looking straighter that so that is the leg sections done so let's put that to one side go on to the sort of like the torso section so first thing we'll just tilt the head and spin it all the way around nice and simple and then with the shoulders these just pull out and then next thing on the arms so you have a small tab which you just pop out like this just slightly and then that just allows you just to move down the claws here and then just bend the elbow just like that then the same on the other side Okay, and there you go, that's the torso section. So we'll just put those two together. And so as you would with this one, you would normally rotate this over. So instead we can just pop it straight on with the arms out slightly. There. Okay. Onto the wings. So here this is where you have this little tab and you can just slide it up just lowers the wings slightly and then this will just pop in exactly the same way with those pegs just like that okay and then onto the final steps you just have your shield which you just fold in your mounting point for the arm thought it folds in nicely and then you have these two pegs here and those just fit into these pegs here just clips in nice solid connection you can see you just need to straighten it up a little bit and then lastly with the rifle we have the are the hand grip which just slots away and then you're left with the peg which will just fit into the hole just up here there, now. and there you have it yeah the first form of the flight mode just straighten it out I'll put up some uh, pictures with it in its uh, other alternative flight mode as well after. But there you have it. And there you have your sort of base adapter which just clips in underneath. And so there it is. Okay, so 
that that's my review for the real grade wing gundam tv version i hope you've enjoyed it so a few thoughts on this kit i'll start off with the build really nice solid build enjoyable it, it didn't it never felt uh, boring it was always quite interesting especially with the all the gimmicks for the transformation um, the actual quality and articulation of the kit is pretty pretty decent especially considering it's a transforming kit some of the parts can feel a bit loose at times and sometimes you might not be too sure if it's actually properly uh, connected in but overall it has been really nice um, it's held together no issues so far the only concern I'll have is down the line is the ball joint on the arm on the hand which is holding the buster rifle. It does tend to have a little bit of a dip to it after a little bit of time holding it, especially out. So that might be something you want to uh, just uh, have a keep an eye out for. Overall, I would say this is a kit I'd recommend. It's definitely a step up from the previous uh, Gundam Wing kits in the real grade series. And hopefully we may even see a real grade uh, Wing Gundam Zero, and that'd be quite nice. I'd really look forward to seeing that. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again next time.